face and walk. Carefully. Let him down slowly now. He yet lives. Aye, and he's coming around. <laughs> Radagast, are you well? Oh, what a thoroughly unpleasant experience. I shall have more pity for flies in the future. How did you come to be in this bind? Sanathra snatched me. Took me unawares, I'm afraid. I really didn't expect to encounter anything of her sort in this corner of the wood. No, not at all. You see, I came here to get away from trouble. Darkness is spreading across Mirkwood. A, a, a darker than usual darkness, I mean. And it's coming from Dol Guldur in the south. Roscobel, my usual home, lies a little too close to Dol Guldur for comfort. So I came here. I have several such retreats. You can never be too prepared, living in Mirkwood and all. But... do I know you? No, Radagast, but you do know me. Ah, young Bellarum. It's a pleasure to see you. So you are a part of this little party, too? <laughs> it's quite a mixed bag, really. I don't see elves, dwarves, and men rubbing elbows often. Especially not in Mirkwood. <laughs> now add an eagle as well. This is turning out to be a rather extraordinary day, really. All things considered. I am just glad we came in time. My friends and I have a mission, and we came seeking your aid. We must find the dragon Urgost, who dwells in the Grey Mountains. But we don't have a lot of time to spend looking. We were told you might be able to help us find him. You wish to find a dragon? Oh dear, is that really wise? Wise or not, that is our mission. Do you know where the dragon dwells? Well, he's a dragon, so I would say the Grey Mountains. Uh, yes, that we know. But do you know where in the Grey Mountains? I haven't the foggiest notion, really. It seems we were misinformed. Ah, now, not so fast. I may not know where Urgos dwells, but I just might be able to find out. Well, but I would need my staff for that, and I, I seem to have mislaid it somewhere. We found your staff and brought it along with us. I knew you would have need of it once we found you. Ah, excellent. Aren't you the clever one? <laughs> Crafty as a fox in your own fashion, too, I can tell. I'm grateful to you. Well then, let's see what we can find out, shall we? My friends might know a thing or two.
have news for me, little one? Ah. I see, yes. Oh, yes, indeed. Very brave of you. Well done, my friend. And there you have it. Uh, perhaps you could explain further for those of us who do not speak the language of swallows. Oh, you don't? Quite a pity, really. They're rather pleasant little fellows. Always something nice to say. Well, what did this one have to say? Quite a bit, actually. Here, let me show you. Have you considered my offer? You bargain with what you do not possess, man of the self. I will have your price soon enough. Think carefully before you spurn this offer, dragon. As mighty as you are, you would do well not to offend my master. I did not say I refused. Only that you must first achieve my reward before you can give it. Ah, formality. I go now to take your price, but I will leave men behind to await your answer. Consider well, but not too long. My time and my thoughts are my own to spend. For now. Still here? I thought you were off to find a dragon. These woods are filled with enemies. Are you certain you can find your way to safety? <laughs> Don't concern yourself with that. I've lived in Mirkwood for a very long time. I won't be caught off guard again. Where will you go from here, Radagast? Perhaps I will visit my friends in the Wood Elf Realm. Or I might drop in on a few folks I know among the Bjornings. There's even a very nice family of badgers that might take me in. I will have to... Your pardon, you said... badgers? Yes, indeed. Oh, I know what you're thinking. How can anyone get along with a group of grumpy old badgers? <laughs> it's true, they're not as amiable as foxes, but they're really quite agreeable once you get to know them. I am certain you are correct. Good luck to you, wherever you may travel. The little cave swallow has told me where August's lair can be found. I can guide us there when you are ready to depart. We are very close to the dragon's lair. We must now go more cautiously. If Orgost was to catch us airborne, he might lay us low with a single blast of dragon fire. It is best you proceed on foot while we shadow you from above. Do you believe Urgost will be on guard against intruders? I hope it is not so. But the keen senses of dragons are legendary. I fear he will see, hear, or smell us long before we can come to grips with him. Still, if Agandar's minions are hereabouts, it may be that their presence will mask our own. Then let us delay no longer. 
Onward, as swiftly as we may.